Hi everyone. In today's DIY projects, we're crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For the first project, we are making a pair of wall sconces and we're using candle holders from the Dollar Tree. Use your exacto knife to score the center of that candle holder until it pops right out. Repeat the same steps for the base until they're equal. Clean your candle holders. Spray paint them your favorite color. I'm using Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold. We're using a pair of chopping mats and it comes two to a pack. I'm folding it from the short side. Wrap it as tight as you can. Then you're gonna open one end. I'm using my left hand to open this one and for the second one you're going to use your right hand to open the right end. Now make sure that your light will fit inside before you seal it and to seal it I'm using my hot glue. For my light I'll be using a remote control RBG light. I'm placing a rubber band to make sure that it stays in place. Just make sure that rubber band will be hidden, just like so. Make sure your light fits in place before you spray paint your wall sconces. This is my second one. Now we have both sconces. I'll be spray painting them with my Rust-Oleum um, Gloss White. To spray paint my sconces, I'm just going to place them on top of this spray can so I can spray paint them. While those are drying, I'm going to be preparing my hook. And for the hook, I'm using the wire from my picture frame hook package. I'm just gluing it right in that space right at the top. Use your strong adhesive. Here are my wall sconces, they're nice and dry. All you have to do is place them right in from the top of your candle holder and make sure that you're lining up the back with the hook. Just make sure it's nice and secure and we'll place the light right in the top just like so. And we'll hook our wall sconces on the wall. And here's how this project turned out guys, I hope you like this one. Let's move on to project number two. We're using these two little vases from the Dollar Tree. Remove that label. And we're also using another one of the candle holder. I'll be spray painting that gold and I'll spray paint my vase um, gloss white. Here they are nice and dry. I'm gonna go ahead and connect them together. This project is super simple and easy. It's as easy as that. You can place flowers in them or you can just use them as a nice decorative piece. And here's how this one turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to project number three. We are using these bamboo wreaths from the Dollar Tree. They come two in a pack, so I'm going to be using two packs. I'm using my hot glue to join them together. I'm 
remove the excess glue. I'll be spray painting them with my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold Spray Paint. I'm also using a cylinder vase and I'll be spray painting it with my white gloss. And I'll spray paint on the inside. To add some details to my vase, I'm using my gold paint pen and I'll just go right around that rim. And we're making a centerpiece. You can use it for your home or for an event. Now we have our pieces dry. I'm going to be adding some popsicle sticks and I'll cut one into two and I'm using two popsicle sticks and this will be a part of our base. I'm gluing the two sets of reeds together. And I'm adding a second popsicle stick to the opposite side just to tie them together. And this part will be sitting on the base, which is a Dollar Tree wooden plaque. I previously used this one, but it's a Dollar Tree wooden plaque, just paint it in gold. I paint it in gold, you can use any color that you'd like. I'm using my hot glue, a generous amount. Just place your frame on top of the base, place your vase inside, and it's as simple as that, guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our fourth project. We are making a wall decoration, and I'm using these plastic plates from the Dollar Tree, and I'm using the small set for this project. The small set comes in a set of six plates. I'm using five plates. Use your soldering iron to cut the rim off. For two of them, I'm leaving the rims solid and for the other three, I'll be cutting the rim into one third and two third pieces. Just like that. So I have three two thirds and three one thirds. Now from one of those larger pieces, we're going to be cutting a fourth one third. Okay. And we're going to discard the other piece. I hope you get that. You can ask me any question you'd like. I'm always here to reply to you. So now we should have two solid circles, four small cuts and two large cuts. Okay. So there's a smooth side and there's a textured side. The textured side is the side that we're going to be using for the top of our design. Just look to see how I'm placing them, okay? The two circles are going on top of that first large one. Then I'm placing the second large one underneath the two circles. I'm just putting it together first before I glue them together. And I'm using my hot glue to glue them together. Just put a small amount after it's all together, then you can reinforce it. Now for our small pieces, we're going to be putting those on the four sides and the edges are going underneath. Just make sure that the openings are equal on either side. Now it's all together and you can flip it and reinforce the back. I already spray painted my design and I use my gold rustoleum. To hook it on the wall, I'm using just some tacks because they're very lightweight, okay? You can use Velcro strips if that's what you have. It 
And here's how this project turned out. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our fifth project. For this project, we're making a leaf sculpture that you can use for a shelf or a coffee table. And I'm using a shelf liner. I'm drawing a leaf from a piece of foam board. And I'll make that a little bit larger and I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut the piece out. Remove the outer layer from both sides. I'll be using a round paperweight and I'm pressing on that foam board in the center area until it's curved. Now I'll go ahead and use my tacky glue to add my shelf liner. Then I'll cut the piece out and I'm doing that for both sides. You want to go ahead and wait until this is dry. I did not wait until it was completely dry. So as you can see, I'm adding a layer of glue and it's swelling up. So it's not as neat as it's supposed to be. So make sure that you allow your glue to dry first. Now I'm just adding veins with my hot glue and I'm starting large and then I'll stop pressing the trigger so it can get thinner. And I'm just trying to line up the veins with the edges of my leaf and I'm doing it for the opposite side and I'll do the same thing for the back. Now I'm just clipping up the edges so I can get it nice and neat. I'm adding a skewer in the center of my leaf and this skewer is six inches long. I spray painted my leaf with my Rust-Oleum Gold and I planned on adding um, gold leaf but I couldn't locate my gold leaf so I'm adding more hot glue to the edges so I can seal it and then I'll just give it a second coat of spray paint. While that's drying, I'm going to be making my base and I'm using tower blocks. Dollar Tree has wooden squares that you can use for the base, but I'm using my tower blocks just to make my square. I'm joining four tower blocks together and then I'll glue them all together to make my square. Now I have four pieces and I'll just glue them together. And I'm trying to get this to be three inches on each side because I'll be using my mirrors and my mirrors are three inches. Now I'll be adding my mirrors. All the items I'm using, I'll have the link in the description box below. Just press more below the title to find the description box. It's not perfect for now, but when I'm done, it's going to be perfect. Okay, so I'm adding a fifth mirror on the top. Now 
For the base, I'll be using a piece of foam board. So I'm just marking out that piece with my pencil. And then I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut that piece out. And I'll glue it in place with my hot glue. To cover up that base and make it look a little bit neater, I'm using a felt from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just attaching that felt with my hot glue. For all the corners, I'll be using mirror tiles. And I'm using two rows of my mirror tiles on the corners. I'm leaving enough space for two more rows on the base. And I'm doing that for all the sides. Now for the top, I'm doing the same thing, adding two rows. Under the base, I'll be adding some bumpers. I'm just using my hot glue to make bumpers for the base so it won't scratch my table. To attach my frame to my base, I'm using a golf ball and I'm cutting it in half. Then I'm using my X-Acto knife to pierce a hole in the top big enough to fit my skewer. To attach my golf ball, I'm using my strong adhesive and then I'll fill the pocket with my hot glue. I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes to get tacky and then I'll add my frame inside. Just make sure to prop it with something to keep it aligned while it's drying. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our sixth project. I'm using an old, old container. I'm just cutting off the lip of that container. We are making a vase. And I'm going to be using the same concept as the previous project. I'm also using a floral disc from the Dollar Tree and I'll place that floral disc right in the top of that old container. And I'll go ahead and spray paint my vase with my white gloss. So for this vase, I'm making leaves with my shelf liner and I'm cutting random sizes. I'm cutting rectangles and then I cut out the shape of leaves. just drawing veins like I did in the previous project I'm working on a silicone surface you can use parchment paper and you can cut multiple pieces at once Spray paint your leaves and I'm using gold for my color. They're all dry, so I'll go ahead and attach them to my vase. And to attach my leaves, I'm using my tacky glue. Just want to brush your glue on. Give it about 30 seconds to get tacky and then attach it to your vase. Now to add a little details to your vase, you can add contact paper. I have a gold contact paper I could add or ribbon. But I have this hoop and it's the perfect size. It's five inches and I think it makes the vase looks very good. So I'm going to be using this hoop and I'm spray painting it gold and then I'll just attach it right on the top. 
and I'll press it in place while I use my hot glue to attach it. I'm just poking holes in the top of my floral foam and then I'll add my flowers and here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Please let me know which project was your favorite this week and if you'll be recreating any of them. If you missed last week's video, here it is on the screen. Just click that rectangular box to watch. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave. It really helps out my channel. Thank you. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye bye.